With their brushes and spray cans, these young Jordanian artists are trying to liven up the walls of Amman. Accompanied by other local artists, foreigners and friends, they've been at work sprucing up this neglected car park for two days. The neighbors appreciate their efforts. Honestly, it's cool to see graffiti in the streets, and especially because the walls of Amman are a little old, they're not beautiful, and the graffiti adds a little beauty to the streets. Graffiti first began appearing on the streets of Amman years ago, but in 2013, a cultural center launched a private initiative called Baladak, your country in Arabic. And since then, street art has exploded. Today, artists have turned blank spaces across the city into enormous canvases. Suhaib's use of distinct geometric forms has made him one of the most celebrated urban artists in the country. The art of graffiti in this country develops the city and makes it more modern. It encourages diversity in art. It adds a little culture to what we have in our society. People come from abroad, others go abroad. So there's a great exchange between cultures. Jordan has about 10 active street artists. But in this conservative society, women remain a minority. Suha, known as Sue, is one of the first women to enter the community. Through her work, she hopes to shatter stereotypes. It's like everything else I expect, not just with graffiti. It needs a feminine aspect. That's the reason that motivated me to get involved because there weren't many girls involved. And then it was like a challenge between me and the whole city of Amman. The art now attracts locals and tourists alike, bringing a healthy dose of color to the streets of the capital.